Today's video is on a ship um, in Planet Commander. This one does cost real money, which is why it's in the pinkish purple. Um, I really don't like the pinkish purple, but anyway, it is using a paint job right now. This is the, the missiles are the original missiles on it. I have not changed that. I have done a few improvements on it. But that is all I've done to it. I haven't messed with it in any other way. So this is pretty much what you buy. Uh, I've improved it three or four times. It is very expensive to improve. This is the best strategy. Um, here I was. This is the first time I used the strategy. I'm showing you guys this because I thought it would be kind of fun to show the first time I ever did this. Sorry if it's kind of glitching out. It didn't do that when I was recording it. I don't think. I'm not sure. Um, I will do two recordings here. This is um, pre-recorded. I was not record talking as I was recording this. Um, that is a little difficult it turns out. But this is too. If you like how I'm doing it here. Tell me and I will do it more. But if not. I'll go back to doing it. This is my first edited video, really. All my other videos have just been whatever I put in them. Like, I'll record it, and that's the final draft. Um, this is hopefully the final draft. I've made this video, like, 15 times so far. And I'm hoping to get this posted by tonight. Um, I think I will probably be able to get to it. Um, I'm not sure, though. This ship does have no bottom guns. Some ships have ways that they can shoot ships below them. And you'd think going way up might be a good tactic, but it's really not. Here I activate my shield, so I'm taking much less damage. I'm not sure if I'm taking none damage or just less. I haven't really looked at the stats on the shield. The shield, I did not come with it. I bought that separately. It costed, I think, a few crystals. Um, I'm u only using videos where I'm only using the ship. Um, out of three videos I've recorded, two of them I'll be posting, one of them I'm not going to be, because it was probably my second battle with this ship and I wasn't very good. Um, this is probably my third battle with this ship. Uh, those two were recorded together and I was planning on putting them in a video together, but I decided not to, um, because the other one wasn't very good. The One of the problems with the ship is it's very slow at turning. It speeds okay, but it's slow at turning. Also, I haven't run into anyone with torpedoes. I don't even know what they look like or what they do, really, but it says something about the try not to target small ships with them in the, like, stats for them. So, this ship is going to have um, problems with those because it's big. But any high level ship is going to be big and have bad health. Um, bad health runs against this. It does have more health, so I'm not sure which one would be better. To be in a small light ship and avoid getting shot up much? Or be in a big heavy ship and get shot up a lot but have a lot more health? Um, in this case, I think this ship is pretty good. I'm going to have killed... I think 14 by the end of this battle. And next one in here will is um 12 kills. So this ship does really good. And these are without dying. Um this ship is two classes ahead of what I've unlocked. So it's not these opponents are a little low level for it. I'd like I like to find out how it does in high league, but it's definitely I'll, something I'll be putting in there. Um sorry about the glitchy. Anyway, that was because the battle ended. But I haven't put any of the other ships in. The, um, my main hangar I probably won't. This is, like, the only one I use right now. Raider is okay, but it's too small. Vanguard, I can't really figure out what the front cannon does, but I can't get it aimed on a target. And Olympia isn't super great. Um, is was really overpowered for a little while, but... Um, it only works against dodging torpedoes. It can hardly dodge torpedoes. Um, 
I think I've ran into one or two ships. This ship here has killed a Inquisitor, I think it's called. But this battle here I just did. And as you can see, I'm staying a little lower. I'm using the same broadsiding tactic, but I'm staying lower. And I'm switching my targets. The moment I fire those missiles, I switch which target I'm att attacking. Because I know that those missiles will hit their target and destroy it. You can't actually go through that clear thing up there, if you're wondering. Your missiles just float right through it. Um, this battle also, this ship lasts the whole battle. Now, so I don't suggest, if you're a really high level, I probably wouldn't suggest this ship. But if you're kind of low level and you're looking for a really good ship, I'd get it. Um, sometimes you could get two ships for the price of one. In this case, I thought about doing that, but I'm glad I got this one. I activated my shield. Again, I did not get that with this ship. Um, but it's still a good investment. It's in the special category. So, you might not have it for a while. All ships, I think, can use it, or almost all can. The only ship I know of, at least that I've unlocked, that you can buy with the shield on it costs $4. So, I suggest instead, if you want to get this shield, just spending $7 on crystals and going to your shop and doing it, buying, um, clicking refresh on it over and over again, and then when you get it, you just buy it. Um, this ship does have good top guns. So, if you see how fast I'm killing these people, this is without missiles. Now, I'll add the missiles in. I think I mispronounced missiles. I think it's actually missiles, but I don't know for sure. I just, yeah, I just say it that way. But, um... I think this ship is probably the best ship you can buy for $15 or less. But I think for 20 you could get a bigger one that's much more tanky. I'm just not sure. It's it's very slow, I think. This ship can equip super heavy weapons. That's actually something, by the way. That's not just like me saying it's like really heavy weapons it can equip. They're called super heavy. Um, so... It is nice because that I have a second class, I think it is, um, heavy plasma, super heavy, I mean, plasma cannon, and that's one of the we the only weapon that's not originally on here, besides the shield. And that weapon's pretty good, but it still just barely beats. The ones that come on it are technically slightly better, but there was one weak rare, I think it was, that was bad. Um... So that's the one that I don't have on it. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. And bye!